Hello everyone, welcome to the portal of EarthaPoint, which is courses.earthapoint.com learn. And here on this portal, better you can go ahead and have a look at various categories of courses, which is IIT Jam, CUET, MA Economics, DEPR, DU semester courses and whatnot. If you click on DU semester courses, you will be able to see the various courses on the portal. Uh, which are available to you. A lot of these courses are an initiative of Artha Point, which means that we are not charging any fees, beta. This is only the portal fees, in which you have introductory mathematical methods for economics, introductory microeconomics, introductory statistics for economics. Then you have intermediate microeconomics, semester three intermediate microeconomics, uh, macroeconomics. This is a paid course. Only this is for 5,000. So you can clearly see that in the paid course, if you click, you will also go ahead and get access to various assignments and you will get access to various other concepts also. So you see here, you also have additional lecture, you have notes, you have assignments, everything is part of the paid course. For all the subjects, you can see past year papers being solved. You can see past year papers being solved and important numericals being discussed in the paid course. So this is a paid course, which is for macroeconomics. But if you go ahead and if you look into uh, the other courses of DU economic semester, they are available for no fees. This is only the portal fees that we are charging. Similarly, if you go ahead and you look into the fifth semester, game theory is a paid course in which we are solving various problem sets also. But other than game theory, other courses like economic growth and business cycle, like introductory development economics, these are all better. These are all the initiative, only portal fees is being charged. And if you go ahead and you look into uh, economic, uh, this introductory development economics, you can see that I have gone ahead and I have covered a lot of the course, even though it is um, an initiative. You can see that unit one is completely covered. You can see that unit two is covered and you can see that unit four is also completely covered. In unit three also, we have covered one chapter. So this is um, the link to our portal. You can go ahead, you can have a look at the various courses. Similarly, if you go ahead and you have a look at the IIT Jam courses, here you will be able to see the difference, uh, different mock test series for IIT Jam that has been launched. At the same time, you will be able to also see uh, the question bank for CUT, which has been now launched. And you will be able to see uh, the different other courses also, right? Uh, these are only few of the courses, beta. Uh, we do provide more courses also. Uh, these are the courses which you can directly access. But if you want a full-fledged course on IIT Jam or a full-fledged course on uh, MA Economics Entrance or a full-fledged course on Indian Economic Service, you can always contact Rohit sir and he will go ahead and he will talk about the different courses that we have. So I just wanted to quickly show you the portal of Artha Point and all of you can go to this portal and you can have a look at different courses. Okay, better. thank you. What a graph of the function Ellen x minus 2 and mod from the graph of the function ln x. Okay, let's try to look into this question beta. First of all, try to understand that whenever I have y is equal to ln x, then here the domain of this function is that x belongs between 0 and infinity. Whenever x will be between 0 and infinity, then y will be equal to ln x. It means that if I were to go ahead and draw y is equal to ln x, we know it looks like this. y is equal to ln x. It is only defined as long as x is positive and we know that here comes ln 1. ln 1 is 0. And this is called as the vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptote means that as x as x approaches 0, then ln x approaches minus infinity. As x approaches 0, ln x approaches minus infinity. 
बट नाउ वी हैव वाई इज इक्वल टू एल एन मॉडिक्स सो मॉडिक्स का मतलब ये हो गया वेदर आई पुट नेगेटिव और पॉजिटिव वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स आई विल ऑलवेज गेट पॉजिटिव हियर आई विल ऑलवेज गेट पॉजिटिव हियर एंड हेंस दिस फंक्शन विल बी डिफाइंड इट मीन्स दैट आई कैन पुट एक्स एनीथिंग बिटवीन माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी एक्सक्लूडिंग जीरो बिकॉज एल एन जीरो अभी भी डिफाइंड नहीं है Here there is an asymptote, but even when I will put some negative value, तो वो positive भी हो जाएगा and I will get the answer. It means now the domain of this function will be minus infinity to infinity other than zero. Zero will still not be included. So I can say domain will be all real numbers except zero. Other than zero, all real numbers will be included in this. ठीक है. But what does this actually go ahead and mean? इसका क्या मतलब है? It means that <clears throat> if I were to go ahead and if I were to draw this, so I will have something like this. अगर मैं इसको open up करूँ, y is equal to ln mod x. This is going to be ln x for all x greater than zero and ln of minus x for all x less than zero. It just means that so suppose suppose I take ln is equal to minus two. So I'll get ln of minus minus two. That means ln of two. माने मेरा image will be mirror image, है ना? तो यहां पे जैसे इफ आई से इफ आई पुट एक्स एज माइनस वन सो एल एन ऑफ माइनस माइनस वन विल जस्ट गिव मी एल एन ऑफ वन एंड एल एन वन इज जीरो सो दिस विल बी मिरर इमेज ऑफ ईच अदर तो अगर एक ऐसा बनता है राइट दिस इज वाई इज इक्वल टू एल एन एक्स आई विल जस्ट हैव फॉर ऑल नेगेटिव वैल्यूज ऑल्सो आई एम गेटिंग द सेम आंसर तो एल एन ऑफ माइनस वन भी जीरो ही है एल एन ऑफ माइनस टू भी है कुछ सो आई यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस थिंग If I put minus one here, ln of minus one is zero. If I put minus two here, ln of minus two is simply ln of two. So this is ln two, which is also getting from here, ln of two. So both will give me the same answer. So I two dalo ya minus two dalo. It is just giving me ln of two, right? It is just giving me ln of two. So whether x is minus two or plus two it does not matter. This is a mirror image. So which means that I will be getting something like this. Draw a bit properly. I will be getting something at this, and both sides say as you approach zero, there will be vertical asymptote towards minus infinity. They will be going towards minus infinity. Zero bit is still not defined. <coughs> Now what happens is, beta. Now the function which is given to you to be plotted is f x is equal to l n x minus two. So y is equal to l n x minus two. So since you have y is equal to ln x minus two, so अब यहाँ पे क्या होगा? This function will be a horizontal shift of the earlier function. माने I still need to find vertical asymptote. और vertical asymptote कब आता है? Whatever value you plug in here, when that becomes zero, जब यहाँ पे zero बन जाएगा, so ln zero will go towards minus infinity. It's not defined, but as you will approach zero, वो minus infinity की तरफ जाना चाहिए. It means that as x will approach two, then y will approach ln two minus two. That means it will approach ln zero, which means it will approach minus infinity. Are you understanding this thing? So now what has happened is that basically, जो function हमने पहले draw किया था, it is going to be the same, but my vertical asymptote now will be around two. क्योंकि at two, when I am putting x as two, I am getting ln zero. And ln zero is not defined, and you go towards minus infinity. You approach minus infinity. जब हम zero पे होते हैं, and you are getting zero value of whatever you are getting here is zero when x is two. So it means that now your function will simply be like this, beta. Will simply be like this. ठीक है mirror image होगा. अच्छा now an important question arises that what will be this value? So what should be this value, beta? This is the value of y. When x is zero, when x is zero, तो यहाँ पे y का value निकालना है हमने. So when I put x as zero, what will I get? Y is equal to ln zero minus two mod ln minus two mod ln two. So y is equal to ln two. It means that when you are having x as zero, y is ln two. Y is ln two. And यहाँ से can you tell me when else I can get ln two बेटा? Wait, that go. और कब एल एन टू आ सकता है यहां पे? वेन एक्स इज फोर 
when x is 4, 4 minus 2 bhi to ln 2 hoga, right? So, if I put x as 4 here, then I will get y is equal to ln 4 minus 2, which means ln 2, right? So, this is a mirror image. This is a mirror image of each other and it will be horizontally shifted graph. So, whatever graph we have here, it is getting horizontally shifted now when you are writing y is equal to mod of x minus 2. So, this is how you can plot this graph. Okay, beta. Thank you.